So I was running into an issue with my newly rebuilt small block 350. The braking went okay. However, I could not get it to, to idle right and it looked like it was misfiring. So I chased carburetor issues, distributor issues, vacuum and I ended up finding it in the end and what I found is that cylinder Four and six were misfiring. I took the spark plugs here, but nothing changed in, in the in the RPMs. So, as I was chasing this, I found that there's a vacuum leak right here in between the heads of the intake manifold. So, I figured, okay, this intake manifold is the old one. I put new heads on. Maybe it was warped. Maybe there's a problem with it. Maybe there's a crack. I did not find any cracks. However, when I put it on a straight edge, I could see that there's a slight warp over here. There's a slight warp on this other side, but the only things that were the only cylinders that were working improperly were four six and one and seven were working, but probably not the full capacity. So that's why initially I thought maybe it was this side of carburetor. Um, then that was not the case. So we went ahead and, and removed the intake manifold. So when I took the intake manifold out, the worst part about this is this: I found some oil in the lower side and in some spots all the way up to the top so I know the gaskets were not sealing the lower part and when I looked at the gaskets the gaskets are almost zero compression in the lower side so I suspect that the angle of the manifold does not match the angle of the heads and this is probably because the motor was already rebuilt so now I bought it 40 over, it was already 30 over, I don't know what they did with the heads, I have no history of this motor, so I suspect that this may not be the proper original angle. Um, I do have another intake manifold, like I said, because this was warped, so I, I ordered a new one. But I thought, after I, I really looked at the gaskets, that they that may not fix the problem. Uh, I may be in the same boat, because the angle which this manifold is cut, may not be correct you know matching my new heads and, and the block I don't know what happened to the block so I was thinking if there's a way for me to correct the angles without taking it to a machine shop so I think I got an idea worst case scenario I ruined this intake manifold but it's not a here nor there at this point so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some blue and some paint on this let it dry a little bit and then I will show you what my plan is. So I ended up covering everything to make sure no debris gets in the engine. Use some spray adhesive and some sandpaper strips and put them on the actual heads. So now with the intake manifold blued, I'm gonna go put it over here and then slightly rub it back and forth to see what kind of pattern we get. That will give me an idea of how bad this angle is. And this is 220. If it's not too bad, it may actually correct the whole problem, but I guess we'll see. Pretty much zero contact on this side. Some contact over here. It's not looking that bad. We'll see. So, after about 10 or 15 minutes and changing the uh, sandpaper once, 
the this whole top portion of the intake manifold that I uh, that the, this is the spot where I found the leak was actually it's actually looking good it it looks almost perfect the uh, bottom part though it still has a lot of blue which means that this portion was not making any contact that's why the old gasket doesn't have any compression on the lower part so um, that looks good. The other side looks pretty similar. Um, there's a there's a big spot over here that's not getting hit yet, um, but I think another maybe 10 minutes, maybe changing the the sandpaper one more time, will do the trick. So we'll see what it looks like at the end. So this is done. I think it took about 35-40 minutes to get this done, maybe four batches of sandpaper. Everything looks pretty straight. The um, only thing that, you know, could probably use more work is the lower side of this passage. It did take the blue off, but it's not as shiny as the other parts. Um, and maybe a little spot over here, but the same. Um, the blue is off, everything is straight, it's just it's not as shiny. So I think I'm going to clean it and... Uh, See what happens, bolt it on and go from there.